Fundamentally, there are two kinds of methods, class methods and instance methods, and there are two kinds of data, class data and instance data. Let's start with the data. If you declare a data item as static, it will exist in the class and not be duplicated in each object. Every object of the class can address the data item, but there is never more than one copy of it, and all the objects share it. If you don't declare a data item as static, then every time an object is instantiated, a new copy of the data is created. Now, methods work the same way. If you declare a method as static, it exists in the class and is ready to be executed. You can call it using the class name as the reference. It's ready to execute as soon as the class is loaded into memory. Now, this method can address the local class data items, but it can't directly address instance data items because it has no way of knowing which is which and which object is being referenced. If you don't declare a method as static, the method then exists in each object and can address the instance data in that one object. It can also address the class data because there's no ambiguity in which one is being addressed when the name is used. The most common static method is the main method. This method, because it's static, exists in the class when the class is loaded into memory. Further, the Java Virtual Machine knows its name and looks for it by name when it loads a class. If it's found, the method is called. When the Java Virtual Machine calls the main method, if you specified any arguments on the command line, those arguments are passed to the method as an array of string objects. This example opens a window and displays all of the arguments that are in that array.